Hi there. So I don't know if you got tired of trying to get work pieces clamped on on your drill press and uh, screwing around with the vise and everything. So uh, I watched some other videos on YouTube about how to make a magnetic, electromagnetic vise for your drill press out of a microwave transformer. Uh, and I was, you know, really interested in doing that. Uh, till I started investigating like the cost of that resin and stuff and just to get the resin was looked like it was going to be about $50 and so I wondered about uh, using these electromagnetic door locks and uh, so I ended up getting a couple of those uh, off Amazon for I think $40 a piece and then got a piece of channel and basically what you do is you uh, unscrew the the magnet here from the channel and then you mount the channel this this aluminum chain piece here you mount that to your whatever piece of metal you're using and uh, then you screw the magnet back onto this mounting strut here so anyway uh, I made it so that the magnets basically lined up so it would uh, have good holding power if you grab onto both of them, it's obviously it's going to be better. And uh, so these run off of 12 volts. I just got it hooked up to a, a lawnmower battery, a riding the mower battery. And for example, this piece here, you can put it on there and I'll energize it. And uh, it, it's, it's pretty solid. I mean, I, I can't slide that around too easy or at all, really. Uh, but if you wanted more holding power to keep stuff from spinning, to maximize or in increase the amount of uh, metal on your magnet. And I'll power that up. So these each have, if they're covered 100% with uh, fairly thick bar, which I guess this is probably three eighths of an inch, uh, they're 600 pounds of holding force in uh, the vertical direction. It wouldn't be quite as much as far as sliding, but I'm sure, you know, with adding these two bars and, and the magnetism that's already associated with that workpiece, that it's not gonna go anywhere. So anyway, uh, you might wanna consider that. And there's got an LED on there that tells you that it's got power. Um, and what I did is I just wired these up in parallel so that they would both be getting the 12 volts from this battery and probably end up upgrading and, and putting a switch somewhere where it's it's more handy. Um, but anyway, uh, you might wanna try that if you're looking for uh, easier ways to clamp things on your drill press or whatever you're uh, using to work on stuff, you know, even you could use this to hold things down when you're you're sanding on it or grinding it with an angle grinder, things like that. So, anyway, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.